Buddha, we got more bones. You always buy the little pack. I tell you to get the big pack. You're like a cheap little Jew. Fucking Jew boy. Wolf. Wolf. Hey, man. Ah! You want to do a charcoal detoxification mask with me? Oh, my God. A black guy's in my house. What the fuck? Did someone say black guy? Woof, woof. Drop the gun. It's just a brush. Oh, it is you. I'll let you handle this one. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Officer, I didn't do anything. Your face is awfully black. Ain't it? I'm not black. If anything, I'm ethnically ambiguous. Diversity, unity. I'm like a Disney commercial. All in one. I'm like a UNICEF box. Well, you're damn straight because I sure as shit can tell what ethnicity you are right now. I'm not black. Are you sure, sir? Well, sometimes I wish I was, but in instances like these with the police, I do not. I do not. This, this is just a charcoal detoxification mask. How much wood does a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What? That's exactly what I thought, Blackie. Would you shoot him already? Don't shoot to kill. Shoot to hurt. Why do you guys always shoot to kill? Aim to hurt. Aren't you trained for that? Bullet in the leg, not in the heart. Or head. Sir, if you don't remain subordinate, I will shoot. <laughs> you know what? Shoot me. Because then I'll die black. Are you admitting that you're black? Because I'm confused as shit right now. You officers pull over minorities and harass them and harass people like me, little brown boys. I mean, because I'm a nice olive complexion. And at night, I would most definitely be considered a mysterious mulatto, especially with a gubellini. Call me guilty, but shoot me first. I will shoot. You know what? I confronted a horrible ex-girlfriend in the last episode. And if I can do that, if I can overcome my fears, then I can take a bullet by you and die black. Not the police. Black, white, purple, gray, yellow, magenta, seafoam green. Does it really matter? Does it really matter the beautiful pastel colors of the universe residing within a human body? What do you mean? Riddle me that, Batman. Statistically, black people are more dangerous than white people. And statistically, you became a copy because college football didn't work out for you. Or you were a nerd in high school and frequently verbally abused by your alcoholic father. What year did you graduate high school? Is that you, Joshua Nelson? The people have been oppressed for too long. Sing it, Buddha. The system has created these false means of rights and pride in order to pacify the people into thinking that they're making progress when really, they're just going backwards and history is just constantly repeating itself. Slavery was only abolished in order to create a new form of slavery with the purposeful creation of segregation by way of social class, where the system capitalizes and makes profit on people of lower income and color, and where the school systems and the designated living areas are put in place in order to keep people compliant all while their government is supposedly taking care of them when they're not. It's for control. Welcome to America. It's a huge fucking white lie. Who's lying? The oppressor. I'm not an oppressor. No, no, you're not. You're the enforcer. You're just like the military. Taking an order to wipe out a whole city just to assassinate one bad guy in the bunch. And then justifying your means by supposed rationalization that you're protecting a whole lot more people. False morality. I tried to enlist, but at the time my body index was too high. The military rejected me. Fucking army. So you became a cop. Donuts were a more viable source to alleviating the emotions that my abusive father bestowed. Why am I talking like this? I knew it. Why the fuck do I go to therapy when I have you? Are you in my head? Are you in my head? Get up. Talk about the right to bear arms. The people will no longer be oppressed. We will rise with peaceful consciousness and simply put an end to all of you. I don't want to die. Then live. Live for yourself, not for others. Live for you, and we will do the same. Through productive selfishness, as we begin to develop our true self, we will exude a whole new world. We will spew viscous load after load of new humans, only to be bred into a rebirth education system that actually works and promotes individuality and creativity and universal harmony rather than obedient conformity, and an education system that truly inquires about life and its existential meaning, and us cultivating ourselves and our purpose in life, and defining our own meaning. What is the meaning of life? No one knows. Jesus does. Jesus is a dead dictator. If he were alive today and saw what the people created of him, he would crucify himself right on the spot. Bang. Bang. Is that even possible? Can you hammer nails into your hands and feet by yourself? Up to the last nail. How do you get the last nail in? Buddha. Freedom. Oh, right. 
From today on, let us truly be free, not by the guidelines of a nation or by the false, but positive means of activist groups causing a different form of segregation among society, as they themselves then become the oppressors, only to create more separation amongst the people, working towards a principle that only exists because of the corruption of man. And may the prideful pronoun befuddled yuppies not take offense when I use the word man to generalize a whole population of genders because they truly have nothing better to do or to accomplish, and only celebrating their pride based upon their sex and whether they like a cock, pussy, or none of the above, when really pride is self-obtained, but humankind created this imprisonable world with a word that they call equality. A word rightfully synonymous with natural living, but then set to a worldly label due to man's ego. And just as living requires no speaking upon, but simply just being, let us not speak upon equality, but simply just start being equality. For the past must no longer repeat itself. I always wanted to suck a dick, but I couldn't because I was just a tough cop. Suck that dick. Try it out. Gargle some cum. Is that gay? It's not gay if you're not gay. That's pretty gay. Who cares whether you want to lick a clit or choke on a flaccid or erect penis? I don't. Why would it be soft? Are you saying I'm not going to be good at fellating a man? That he's not attracted to me? Who knows? Practice makes perfect. There's too many labels and forms of classification. Just live and just suck some penis already. Gobble some goo. I always wanted to blow that little leprechaun on that Lucky Charms box. I even cut a hole in the packaging and tried to fuck it. The marshmallows were always so sweet and salty. Like sesame chicken. Kung Pao! Where is this coming from? I'm gonna find me a glory hole and not care about what's on the other side of it. No more, Daddy! Faggot! Fuck you! Exactly! Life is mysterious, just like a glory hole. You don't know what's on the other side. You're blinded to preference. You just shove your cock in and hope for the best. Or hood. Or hood. Vaginal hood. I know a crackhead by the name of Frankie. They call him Frankie the Crackhead. Couldn't figure that one out. He's toothless and dresses like a woman. I could have the best of both worlds. I think I'll start there. Good day. You just talked a guy into getting AIDS. Good job. I just talked a bigot into getting his penis chewed upon in the name of blinded gender. Equality. Buddha, that's what any dogmatist truly wants. Feed me, faggot. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, who let the dogs out? Woof, 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 who let the dogs out? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> oh, my little red rocket. <laughs> I pressed my feelings because my father was homophobic, but I would frequently walk in on him and my uncle making love, his brother, and the town priest. Don't put baby in the corner, said the priest. 